Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Spencer, and I'm here with a tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, master page in PHP. Um, so first, I'm going to be using my IDE NetBeans, and then I'm going to make a new file and source files and call it master page. And then I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to find the CDN for Bootstrap, which is on the website. I will have linked in the description. I'm going to paste it in the head and then I am going to get rid of the PHP tags and I'm going to put them in put the navigation in that I have from bootstrap alright well, now that that's in we are going to go ahead and add a title so we're going to want to put the uh, PHP tag and then we're going to want to put the dollar sign content and that's going to be what we're going to be looking we're going to be adding that into the index page we're going to close the PHP tag and then we're going to make a we're going to go to source files and we're going to make an index.php all right now that we have an index.php we are going to go ahead and get rid of all of that content we don't need it at all we're going to create a PHP tag and then we're going to go ahead and insert a include and in it or a require tag um, those are both you can have one or the other now the include tag it just includes it and if the file doesn't exist then it'll just still display the content as normal um, but with the require it requires that specific file so it will require the master page to be shown it, if the master page isn't there it will not display it'll say it'll give you like a 404 error or some sort of error and the page will not display. Now I choose require most often because require means that the they can't see the page because if the page isn't going to look normal then why would you want to see it you know so I, I normally do require. Now it's your choice you can do include so if you still have stuff that will make the web page look good even without the uh, master page or whatever file you're including then I, you could go ahead and do include, but I would choose require definitely over that. And then now you're going to add the closing tag, and you're just going to add whatever content you want below. And it's simple as that. Um, now you can have one thing that I didn't include in there is the dollar sign content. And inside the PHP tags, you can enter that and then set that equal to whatever. And this is what you'll see. Or in my case, this is what I saw when I uploaded this to my file host and displayed it. Um, so it has the navigation from Bootstrap, and it has my h1 tag high. And yours should look similar, or should have the same concept to it of your master page and then your body content. Now, one thing that's not on there is the footer, and you don't put the footer in the master page. I do not recommend it. The reason being that when you put that in the master page, you're displaying the master page prior to the body. And so your footer will end up being above the body rather than at the bottom of the page. So when you're doing your index page or your home page, I would just put the body at the bottom of your index page rather than at the bottom of your master page. Because that way it's where it should be and it's how it should be. Um, and But other than that, I mean, it should be good. I will have the links to everything down in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.